Hi, I'm Ryan of Midnight Solar. Today I want to show you how to equalize your batteries with your classic charging controller. I want to show you how to do a manual equalization as well as an auto equalization. But before we go over to the classic and show you that, I want to talk a little bit about batteries. Uh, the first thing you want to make sure is you have a battery that actually needs to be equalized. Uh, please consult your battery manufacturer. Make sure you have a chemistry that requires equalization. Find the parameters for the equalization because we're going to need them later in this setup. Also, we want to go to the battery bank. We want to have all of our safety precautions in place, but we want to check the water level in our batteries, make sure it's up. And we also want to check all of our connections to make sure we don't have any corroded connections, bad connections, or whatever that case may be. We want to start with a healthy battery bank before we go to the classic and do an equalization charge. For exact specifics on how to water your batteries, please consult your battery manufacturer for that. And now we'll go over to the classic charge controller and program in equalization. Okay, now we need to go to the classic charge controller and we need to go into the charge menu to set all of our parameters and the equalization functions. To go in to the charge menu, simply press the main menu button, press it again, press it again if you need to. Repeated presses of the main menu button will bring you back to the beginning of the main menu. On older firmware versions, you may have the wizard in there and if you do, it will be highlighted Use the right arrow to scroll to charge, highlight charge, press enter. First thing we need to do is we need to set the volts. We will go into enter. In this case, my equalization volts is already set because it was set upon installation of the classic charge controller. This doesn't need to be changed. If it did, we would use the, left, the up and down arrows to change that. We'd press enter when we were done. Now we'll press the main menu button once to back up one screen. We need to set the equalization time. Scroll to the right to charge time, press enter. Here, I need to scroll to the right to highlight the EQ time. I have it set for one hour. If you want to change that, the up and down arrows will change that time. When you're happy with the time, press enter. At this point, we press the main menu button again to back up to the charge menu. We want to go over one, down one, and highlight equalize, EQ, press enter. This is where we do a manual equalization. To start a manual, manual equalization, we'll use the up arrow. You see it says EQ started. I'm going to take you back to the status screen now so you can see that it's equalizing. Here you see EQ MPPT. EQ MPPT means that it's feeding everything it can to the batteries right now to raise the voltage to the point that you programmed in. When it reaches that voltage, you will see simply equalize on here, and that will be a regulated state maintaining that voltage. We'll go back in and show you how to set up auto equalization. Back into the equalize menu. We'll go ahead and turn off that equalize charge. Auto EQ, press the right soft key. Here we have a couple settings. We have the days between equalization charges and we have the days that it will try to equalize. This is a little unique. The Classic will do something different in that it will allow you to program the days that it will attempt to retry. So if you want it to just try to equalize until it flat out does, you can set this number up to 30 to match the other one. If you only want it to try for one day and then give up and you don't want it to boil your battery, simply scroll over to this one, turn that down to one day, Set the days between the charge. In this case, we want 30. Go ahead and press enter. Now that's saved. Now this classic is programmed to do an equalization charge every 30 days, and it will try for one day and give up. There's also a timer here that we can view. Using the right soft key, you'll see the word view. We can look at that, and this will tell us, at this point, we just programmed it, so the timer started fresh. It's going to have to count to 30 days, and there's no retry because it has not reached equalization stage yet. So now we would press the status button to go back to the home screen and that classic is programmed to equalize once every 30 days and it will try for one day. Until next time, I'm Ryan of Midnight Solar.